Hey everybody, welcome back to Nexus Core. I'm Richard, and today we're gonna to be going over the Game Genic Cardfight Vanguard deck box. This is a collaboration between Bushiroad and Game Genic for a new style of deck box. Each deck box is based on a nation for standard format, uh, one of each nation. So we have Lyrical Monasterio, Dragon Empire, Brant Gate, Dark Zone, Stoicaea, and Keter Sanctuary comes with the seal or the symbol that the nation is known for. It comes with the Game Genic logo going all the way around and the Card Fight Vanguard logo as well. This is meant to store up to a 50 card double sleeved Vanguard deck and the flap kind of opens up all the way out. So you got a full range of the opening right there. And this is where it's supposed to house in your deck as well. You also see it comes with a little dice container like so and this way you can kind of throw in you know your dice your little knickknacks things that are going to help you as you're playing the game it's a decent amount of room for dice so i have no complaints about the dice compartment seal is magnetic and it's got a pretty pretty good uh secure magnet there got my youth burke deck handy because you gotta fit the theme here i'm gonna go ahead and put youth up in there so one of the first things that you'll notice when you're putting your deck in is that in most deck boxes have you put in your cards uh, vertically. However, this one wants you to put in your cards flat. You can kind of see that they're they're kind of puffing out just a little bit there at the top. Not my personal favorite thing about this box, but the cards technically fit. This is a 50 card deck, by the way, including the right deck. They kind of start to rise uh, with a double sleeve deck. Now, a single sleeve deck won't have this issue. However, for the fact that it's marketed to be able to store a 50 card double sleeve deck it's it's barely holding on to that that's holding on to it pretty good wow that's actually holding on to it really really well this is a really really great magnet by the way another thing real quick i wanted to mention is that the little symbol on the front does not come out it is not interchangeable so you can't just uh take your keter symbol and throw it on a dragon empire box unfortunately but maybe that that'll be something to look forward to in the future for you know based on customer feedback so the next thing and probably the biggest gimmick i want to say about this deck box these little pockets on the front here these little thin pockets here are meant to be for your ride deck there's only two pockets you're supposed to be able to sleeve up to four cards, um, but we will give it an attempt with the single sleeves. I'm just gonna put a single sleeve in. It glides in a lot easier, so it gets in there pretty good. However, it is a little hard to get out once you got it in there. I personally would not recommend putting the cards in these pockets. I know that that's what they're designed to do, However, my personal experience, and I've, I've messed with this thing, it's a little rough, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I personally am not planning on putting anything or any valuable cards in these sleeves. I might just put in fun friendship cards or fun little tokens, but I really don't recommend actually putting your right deck in these compartments at this time. I think it was a good idea. Game Genic might be onto something, but I think the box is just designed a little bit funky is the best way for me to put it. It's the fact that the deck has to go in vertically and I'm already like kind of, it's it's just very weird putting this all, you know, once you, and then once you got it in, pulling it out, it just, it doesn't feel like a comfortable experience is what I'm trying to get at. And it could be just me and how I go about using my deck. If I'm casually shuffling my deck and I'm ready to go and I'm packing up my deck, I wanna be able to just hold my deck, slip it in, and go. I don't want to hold my deck and then have to angle it in and kind of fish it in there and then go from there. Overall, I do think this is a great start. I think that the storage unit itself with the compartment is really, really good. It's really safe. For the aesthetic, I feel like if you're using a single sleeved deck and you do not plan on using these little compartments up here, I think it's a great addition to your deck box collection. However, if you're like me, and for the most part, majority of your decks are double sleeved, it's it's borderlining. It's a little bit too too much, and I feel like even when I have the full complete uh, double sleeved deck with including all 50 cards in there, they start to spill out just a little bit. And I can show you what I mean by that in just one sec. So you can see I got the full 50 cards there, and the cards at the top they're kind of bunching out at the bit. 
And even when I close it, if I don't close it perfectly and completely seal the cards, there's still a chance that the cards can make their way out of the box as I seal it, which can potentially damage your cards. So it's another thing to keep an eye out for. It is a fun box to, for sure to get you started if you're using single sleeve cards, like I said before, I think it needs to be a little bit bigger. So going forward, I think the next step for Game Genic and the next, if they decide to do another Vanguard collaboration, which this is just a really cool product in general, make the boxes a little bit bigger. Um, maybe we can see some towers. Um, great example I have, this is an Ultra Pro one. I've had this for like six years now. A little tower box like this, Vanguard logo. You can put your, you know, you can maybe put in your ride deck in little sleeves here if people want to keep that, your, your dice at the top. So I think having this model for the collaboration would be great going forward. If you're going to stick with this like Sidewinder style, keeping it vertical would be better in my personal opinion. But this is a great start. Thank you again to Gamegenic for giving us this opportunity to talk about these deck boxes. Just looking forward to what other products are gonna be coming out with in the near future for Card Fred Banger. This is, this is a really cool start. So thank you all so much for watching and really looking forward to seeing your guys' feedback, what you think about these deck boxes, which ones are you guys looking forward to picking up if you plan on picking one up, and also what are your thoughts based on you know what you've seen and if you've already had the opportunity to pick one up and test it out how are you feeling about these new vanguard game genic deck boxes and that's pretty much it thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye